Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again, and today I'm here with the Raspberry Pi 3 running Retro Pi 3.6, and I wanted to show you guys some PlayStation um, 1 emulation. Now, I am running a wired Xbox 360 controller on the Raspberry Pi 3. Um, I have tried a Bluetooth controller, but I cannot get it to connect to the new Bluetooth built into the Raspberry Pi. I'm not sure if it's just my controller or RetroPie hasn't integrated it yet, but I'm sure it'll work down the road soon. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with, like I said, PlayStation 1 emulator. We're you get out of here. Um, I got a few, a couple games already on here. So let's start out with Bloody Roar. Now this is set up all stock. This unit runs a 64-bit 1.2 gigahertz quad-core processor with one gigabyte of RAM. And I have used Raspberry Pi Zero, Raspberry Pi One, Raspberry Pi Two, and by far this is a lot faster than any of them. Um, let's get right into it with an arcade game. Now sound works um, great. Um, graphics are spot on for the PlayStation 1 and the frame rate is amazing. I have tested a bunch of games and I haven't had any problems. Um, now I'm just running a SanDisk 16 gigabyte SD card. Uh, loaded all my ROMs and the BIOS on it and went to town playing this. And as you can see, we are uh, smooth frame rate, no problem at all. I'm going to go ahead and press start and select on my controller. That will bring me out to the RetroPie interface or to the um, emulation station interface. Let's go ahead and do some Marvel vs. Capcom. Loading time is definitely sped up from the original PlayStation itself. Ah, oh. there we go. And the frame rate is steady. This thing works great, um, way better than the Raspberry Pi 1 or 2, in my opinion. Now, this is um, 
set up the stock speeds, which I believe is 1.2 gigahertz. And I am going to overclock. I'm waiting on a few little heat sinks to come in the mail and I'll go ahead and try to jack it up as high as I can. I've seen the Raspberry Pi 3 run as high as 1.5 gigahertz with no problem. I'm uh, expecting to at least be able to get to 1400 megahertz. So. Sweet. I'm going to go ahead and press start and select here. So, um, PlayStation runs amazing. I have tested a lot of emulators and I have a bunch more videos coming on, uh, emulators running on the Raspberry Pi 3 and how to install different operating systems on the Raspberry Pi 3. So keep tuned. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you could hit that like button and subscribe.